This video is mainly for the photographers out there looking for a nice mobile version of Lightroom for your tablet. Uh, first of all, I agree, Lightroom is really poorly designed for tablets. It's not finger friendly at all. I mean, you can't scroll anything. This is impossible to use. Second of all, I found something uh, that's compatible with Lightroom and works a lot better on a tablet for reviewing photos while on the go. It's called Fewer. This is Adam Lane from Pocketnow, and let's check it out. So usually the first thing I want to do after a photo shoot is to flip through all the pictures and uh, start choosing the ones that are good uh, before I go editing. Now here I am in Lightroom again, and like I said, the, it's not touch friendly at all. It's not even stylus friendly because the scroll bars are on the left and now I can't see anything. It also took me about a half hour to get all these pictures into Lightroom 5 because it has to import them into a database. Bridge is slightly better. Uh, you don't have to import them into a database, so you can start working with them right away. And it also has this nifty little review mode, which is pretty finger friendly. You can see I can flick through and flick the ones that I don't like sometimes. But you see it's not terribly responsive. So, check out this app. Here's Fewer. And uh, from here you can add folders, so you can choose which folder you want to look at. There's the one I'm looking at. And right here I have my colored labels and my stars. If I turn on the settings over here, I can do auto advance rating, auto advance color. And so right now, next one, that's a good, bad one, bad one, bad one. This one's a maybe. I'll go next one. That one's pretty good. That one's a three. That one's a maybe. This one's not very good. Mm. So really quickly, just with one touch, I'm, I'm ranking all of these photos. Now this app is adding metadata to these pictures. Uh, they're all raw files, so that's the one thing. But it's adding metadata that is going to be imported into Lightroom or Bridge or uh, Corel Aftershot. So I'm not replacing Lightroom, but I'm adding something to the workflow that works really well on tablet for your first initial ranking and reviewing process. Now you can see this is very quick. Now here's something else. I can show the keyword listing and I can add a keyword. So let's say crop this. So now I've added a keyword to this photo. You can see it listed right down there. Tiny little word. And uh, we can add as many keywords as we want. So I'm going to crop that one later. Let's find some other good ones. And this is a good one. I'm going to crop that. And I'm also going to retouch it. So let's add that as a keyword and I'm going to apply it. So now I have crop and retouch listed there. Now, okay, so let's go back to one of the other apps. How about bridge? And you see right away those keywords show up right here. So I can select all the pictures that I want to crop. So say my desktop computer at home, I'm going to use that for editing. I can really easily find the ones that I want to crop. I can find the ones that I want to retouch. There's the one that I marked as retouch for keyword. And I can find all the uh, high ranking pictures really quickly. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, that looks pretty fast for a uh, expensive Surface Pro 2 with 8 gigs of RAM and whatnot. How about something uh, cheaper, like a $200 Dell Venue 8 Pro? All right, I'll show you how that works. Okay, so here is a SD card that I took out of a camera. There's a camera right there. And I'm going to plug it into the Dell. And then I'm going to launch Fewer. This is how it loads, and we got to add a folder. I'm going to find, oh, this is the one that I want. So it's going to show that folder, 
and then I can open it. And you see how quickly it loads all these. So you can see I can rate all of these really quickly. And the data is going right to my SD card over there. So when I get home, I can just plug that SD card into my main computer, import those into Lightroom, and all of this metadata is going to be preserved. We can also show thumbnails of all the pictures, and you can see the rankings right there next to them, as well as the labels. There's the colored labels. You see a little bit of lag, but we're talking about 750 raw photos here, and this is a Bay Trail Atom processor with 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage with barely any free space left. So this is pretty high performance for something that will quickly let you flip through all your raw photos, rank them, add keywords. It's really, really nice for uh, photographers on the go. This is Adam Lane from Pocket Now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, and that's it for now.